Can I change job without NOC in Qatar? Tune into this video. Hi guys, welcome back to this channel and if it's your first time come back to come across of this channel, please support this channel by subscribing. Don't forget to click the bell icon. It will be the only way you'll be updated when I upload a new video. Thank you so much for the returning subscribers. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you so much for subscribing to this channel. I'll get to shout out to a few people that have always been there, please. Thank you so much. Uh, Rain, uh, New Day, uh, Minzai, please. Thank you so much for all the comments, all the time, for all the support. Thank you so much. For the other subscribers, please, I appreciate. Thank you so much. And for the new subscriber, please consider supporting this channel by subscribing to get the true information can i change job in qatar without the onc yes it's true but how remember before you think about changing jobs there are some terms that you need to consider that sometimes you need to understand clearly before you tend to change the job one how can i change a job the different scenarios there are two one let us try to understand what is termination. That is one. Then let us also try to understand what is resignation. That is two. Then also let us try to understand what is a notice period. Those are three different terms, but we need to understand them all together. How can they help me to change a job without a hassle, without having to fight with my employer or my former sponsor? There are three terms we need to understand. First of all, what I need to give you a little, little bit of outcome. For the termination, you may decide to terminate yourself. You may, you, you, uh, for termination, uh, for the employer may decide to terminate you. He may terminate you on two grounds. Maybe because of indiscipline or misconduct. You violate the contract. He may terminate you. Or, he may terminate you because the company is closing out. It's out of liquidity. It is closing business. He will try to terminate all the time the employers by sending them either to back to their country or giving them NOC to look for other opportunities in case he does not want to repatriate them to their country. It is all sold out. He can give you a waiver, NOC, and you look for another opportunity in any way or the other. That is another scenario. We look at another one, res resign. Yes, you can decide to resign from the company. After maybe after a given probation period, or after one year, or even after your contract, you can decide to resign from that company and look for something else. Then, also that, what we need to consider, before you resign, there's what we call a notice period. I think most of you have heard of what we call a notice period. There's what we call a notice period. But what is a notice period? A notice period is that period that you give an employer after you get to terminate a contract. And what is, how much do you have to give? For example, here in Qatar, if you've lived in that company for, for one year or less than one year, it's supposed to be one month notice period you give to your employer. And remember that notice period or that resignation period starts from the day that you submit your resignation letter to either the human resource or to even your project manager or any manager for the responsible office. That is when it starts. And that notice period also will st exactly start the day that when you submit your resignation letter. I think we are very clear. The notice period starts ex the exact day that you submit your, or not your resignation letter. If it is one year less, then it will be one month. If it is more than two years, then you are two years and above, then it's supposed to be five, it's supposed to be two months of notice period. And it is legal to resign. You're allowed to resign. Whether your employer accepts the resignation or rejects the resignation, it's your right to resign. So whether he accepts or not accept your resignation, but the day you submit that resignation, that same day to submit your resignation letter to that respective office, 
it is when the notice period and resignation day will start. So if it is two months, you will begin counting until the two months of your last date. That is what happens. For my brother here, he asked the question, I already have a letter, I already have what you call an offer letter from another company. Right? Remember, sometimes we get to resign if we've got a better opportunity in one way or the other. And we don't have to deny that. We get for the bigger opportunity because we're always looking for what you call greener pastures. We are looking for something that's a little bit bigger for ourselves. We're looking bread that can, we're looking something that can put more bread on our plate. And that is exactly what happens. So if you have an offer letter from another company that is giving you good money, remember, you submitted a resignation to your company, but your company does not want to let you go. Instead, your company is telling you it's going to terminate you. My brother, don't get scared of termination. That is my advice I'll give you. Because remember, you already have another offer letter from another company. If you have that offer letter from another company and your former company is telling you it's going to terminate, brother, accept the termination. Because what does it mean and what does it mean? It means that that termination itself alone, it means that company does not need you. It is only the only way. It is a clear go ahead that go to another company. Because it has refused to give you the honesty. But it is telling you it's going to terminate you. Yes, let it terminate you. Because it is the only clear indication that shows that the company does not need you anymore. So you can go ahead and go to another company. So what do you need to do? You only need to get the termination letter in case it is given to you. Attach it to your documents. Attach it to your offer letter. Attach your ID. Take it to the Ministry of Labor. Give copies to your former to the person who is willing to give you the job who gave you the offer letter. Then the rest of it will be approved by the ministry as soon as 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 soon as possible that you can imagine so i hope my brother i've tried to answer you rightly that is the whole bit of it all so what happens to some employers especially here in the car in Qatar, or happens in uh, some companies you put in a resignation letter they do not want to 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 sign out your resignation letter they will tend to toss you up and down and up and down up and down but this does not have to stop you because you already submitted, and remember, the date of resignation, your notice period starts that exact day that you submit your resignation letter. So it is your right to resign. You have the right to resign. Unless if it is contemporary or it is getting against what you sign in the contract. But if in the contract there is no any other clause that is trying to deter you from resigning and moving from that company before fulfilling a given period of time, then you have the right to resign. Even at a period, even if at a probation period here in Qatar, yes, if a company terminates you in any way or the other, and there's a new company that is willing to give you an offer at that same time, you have the right to change. Remember, the only, the, the only question that's in termination is that when a company terminates you, you are only given a grace period of two weeks to move out of the country for that employer to, to repatriate you back to your country, as we say. But within those two weeks, if you can get another company that can give you offer later and can give you, you have, you have, you're free to go, you are free to take up the opportunity. Remember, that old company or your former company would only be, will not, will only be a uh, uh, great off what you call the repatriation, meaning that the new cost of repatriation of anything will be cleared by, by your new company. But remember, still something I need to something I need to remind you for people in Qatar. If you've completed with that company for two years or more than that two years, and it's terminating you, letting you go, you get a new company, 
after you getting a new company is giving you job to do, remember you still have to have to get your gratitude. Your gratitude. Because your gratitude, you've already, you've already completed the contract with, you've already contributed, uh, uh, you've already finished up the two contracts with this company. So they need to give you your gratitude. You need to go with your gratitude. Much as they may not give you the air ticket repatriation back to your country because already you are in the hands of the new employer, but they have to give you your gratitude. Hope I've tried to answer you right. Yes, you can resign, you can get a new job, you can resign without NOC if you get that information right. Because if your company is threatening to, to terminate you, you already have the, op the, the job offer letter from another company and is threatening to terminate you, that is a clear information. Or even if it is give you a termination letter, that is a clear information that this company does not need you. It does not need you. So what you do, it is giving you a go ahead that you can go to another new company. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel and thank you so much for tuning into this channel. Please don't forget to support this channel by subscribing and pressing the notification bell. Don't forget it's Max from the Max Creation TV. See you again in the next video as we try to discuss more of other important information that helps us to grow uh, gravely and manually and uh, we get to look for new opportunities in one way or the other. Thank you so much. See you again in another video.